But what is up, my love? Welcome back look. to the new tie dye collection by ColourPop. This is their latest launcher, which includes three different eyeshadow palette. It includes eyeliner, a body oil, also a coconut face primer. It also brings a glittery eyeshadow and two highlighter. I'm gonna show you guys everything individually. But today we're gonna be focusing on Miss Bliss because it's the only eyeshadow palette that I have, and I also will be sharing with you guys a eyeshadow look. So let's get right into it. This is the packaging. It's super super pretty. It actually reminds reminds me a lot of the palette just peachy it looks a very very similar when you put them side by side kind of crazy so if you already have that you probably don't even need this this is a two-tone palette we have pinks and warm corals and in this palette you do get self matte metallics and pressed glitter formulas pretty cute pretty simple but honestly I feel like I've seen these shades already quite a lot to be honest on Colourpop in their other palettes so as you can see here they do have the names on the and the actual palette i wanted to show you guys some swatches first so let's go ahead and swatch the, the three top shades we have of quartz intuitive and wah i think that's how you say it beautiful shades they swatch really nice let's go on now to the second row we have loves it we have love of attraction next to that we have palo santo and again, absolutely beautiful shade. I really like how they swatch. Very soft, very summery, and they work great once again. Now, last but not least, let's go on to the last row. We have Chakra to Me. I think that's how you say that. Optimist, Vibrant things we're gonna show you guys an eyeshadow look as well using this baby right here so once again we do have some metallic we have some soft mattes and we also have a pressed glitter you can kind of tell right off the bat which one are the pressed glitters the soft mattes the metallics overall very cute shades but nothing out of the ordinary honestly Anyway, you guys, now let's go ahead and move on to the two Super Shock Highlighter. These have more of a bouncy texture, but they are so, so stunning and have a beautiful glow. These are also buildable and super, super blendable. And let's not forget, they have this buttery um, texture to them. I'm sure if you guys have tried ColourPop formula, they feel very buttery. Also, the shadows feel the same way. This first shade is called You Are A Trip, and this one has a white gold with little hint of gold sparkles it's absolutely gorgeous i love how it goes on nothing to complain about honestly it's pretty huge the pan as you can see it's like the size of my hand the next shade that we do have here is called manifest that and this is another super shock highlighter same formula same creamy texture and this one is more of a pale pink and has like silver sparkle throughout the whole highlighter in this collection we also have this glitter gel this is one another glitter pack gel paste it's super super intense you guys i really love how it sparkles especially when it's like in low light like when it's at night and like light hits on it it's absolutely stunning this is more of a gold opal with gold and copper duochrome shift it is the shade glam rock it retails for eight dollars next let's move on to the fresh cut set this is a cream gel liner kit it brings six different gel liner and oh my god these glide on like nothing they are very very creamy these are pastel shades by the way they are like the perfect finishing touch for your look absolutely beautiful you get five different pastel shades and their best-selling white eyeliner in the shade exit these are very creamy pastel liner once again they feel so soft and glide on like nothing on the waterline comparing these to my my favorite ones which are from la girl these are even better you guys honestly the way they glide on are absolutely beautiful this kit retails for 36 dollars which i think is a little bit a lot but honestly the way they work it's like nothing else i believe you're also able to get them uh individually and they retail for six dollars each individually you guys gonna hear a little bit of noise i do have my ac on because it's extremely extremely hot so i apologize but here we have the rainbow glow this is a so shimmering dry oil um it's super super pretty it has this soft opal with highlights of pink gold silver blues and violet so you're going to be shimmering it looks so good when the sun hits it and when it's like in low light it looks absolutely beautiful and this retails for ten dollars next we have this coconut face milk this is by the brand fourth ray beauty which is also within ColourPop, but they focus more on skincare and this is just a deeply nourishing drop of moisturizer especially for dry skin it's really really good because it's formulated with coconut milk marshmallow roots 
and aloe which aloe is very soothing on the skin so this is just basically to hydrate nourish the skin love 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 this but next moving on i'm going to show you guys this beautiful look that i created i'm going to start by applying a layer of concealer on my eyes just to make sure i create that beautiful nice even canvas to apply the shade i'm also using my favorite brush right now at the moment to apply concealer on the eyes and it's by real technique i absolutely love their brushes you guys they work amazing let's go ahead and start with the first shade which is um the shade optimist and it's the second shade on the last row i really really like how they applied onto the eyes you guys i feel like they went on so smoothly the way i decided to apply this eyeshadow was packing it onto the eyelid this is the best way to get this eyeshadow to show up, especially because they are more on the pastel kind of uh, shade range. I'm going to go on next to the shade Intuitive, which is the top road second shade. And I'm going to go ahead and blend out that crease. As you can see, it blended in beautifully. You guys, I didn't have a problem with it whatsoever. But for to be able to make this work, I will highly recommend to not swipe it back and forth. Mainly apply it and pack it on for the shade to be able to um show up as well i recommend using like a white canvas shade to be able to get the most pigment out of these eyeshadow otherwise they would not show i went ahead and created a cut crease as you can see here pretty simple i think and i also added a little bit of color into this look to make it a little bit brighter by adding a orange line on the crease i also went ahead and added a little bit of law of attraction which is a pressed glitter that the palette brings and applied it on the lid as you can see here and i'm going back to the same shades that i use on the crease to create kind of like a feather out smudge out wing liner as you can see here i'm only using the colors optimistic and uh intuitive super super pretty i really like how it turned out i'm also going to do the same steps on the lower lashes you guys as you can see here i'm going to go and just smudge that on the lower lash and create a little bit of depth by adding a different completely different shade not from ColourPop, completely different shade, not from ColourPop, but something that added I'm going in with this beautiful lash brand, Tata Lashes. Absolutely love them and added the this, this style Bambi. Really, really love these lashes, you guys. They work absolutely amazing. I did finish my other side. The only thing that I did different was add a purple cut crease liner, which I completely regret, but we live and we learn. I added some mascara to, to, to finish up the whole look. I also added a little bit of um, inner corner color just to make it a little bit more, I don't know, brighter, interesting i honestly regret it you guys but here we are it actually turned out cute and the liner once again on the water lines i highly highly recommend these they work absolutely bomb look absolutely bomb and glide on like super super creamy the highlighter i'm not the biggest fan of highlighter but you guys they are blinding for sure they're really really nice i cannot wait to keep using this and testing it out a little bit more let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoy this video if you we can picking up any of these products honestly i have never biggest fan of this collection but if you're into it definitely go ahead and try it out otherwise you guys i'll see you on my next one bye